To get fonts for our extension, we're going to go to gitlab.com slash oske slash svg dash fonts. You can see what the fonts look like by going into the readme file and looking at the fonts that start with EMS. You'll be able to download any of these fonts and use them. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the fonts folder, then the EMS folder. This is all in GitLab. We're going to choose a couple of fonts to save into our directory. Um, the first font I'm going to download to is the Allure. I'm going to put it in the default application directory. And then I'm going to download the EMS Bird font, and I'm going to put that in a custom directory. In this case, I'm just going to put it in a folder in my C drive. I'm going to change the name to make it simpler to type when I actually use it. So emsbird.svg. And we'll save that. So now we have the Allure in the uh, default application folder, and we have Bird in our custom um, folder. So we're going to be able to see how those differ. Okay, so now we're ready to go over to Inkscape, and I've prepared this file already. So any fonts you add will be accessed using the other selection, and fonts saved in a custom folder have to use the full path name. Otherwise, you can just use the simple font name. For instance, EMS Allure. So we're going to try the one in the application directory first. We'll go to Extensions, Hershey Text. You'll always use Other unless it is a previously installed font that comes with the application. In this case, we're going to use Allure, the EMS Allure, because that's in our default application folder. So all we need to do is use the actual font name, EMS Allure. We can then apply it and you can see that it's changed. We did lose the color of the font because it's now a path rather than a normal font. And we'll do the same thing on our custom folder. Here we're going to need to use the full path name. We still use other font and use the folder C, in this case, my CSVG fonts. You, it may be different for you, obviously. And we'll apply. So we needed to add the SVG, emsbird.svg, into our full path to get this to work. Again, if you use a different path, obviously, it will be different. OK, another couple of things you can do is you can uh, preserve the original text. Uh, you can also do a live preview. So if you want to do a live preview in the extension, obviously, all you need to do is check live preview. If you want to preserve text, you can check that. Let's just start with the live preview. And you can see how it changes. And we could change to a different text on the fly, but we'll apply this one. If for some reason you do want to use use the same text over and over and perhaps apply different uh, fonts, um, SVG fonts to it, you can preserve the text. Uh, what it does is keeps it there. Unfortunately, it also makes it kind of hard to see. So unless there's a good reason for it, uh, I generally recommend not checking preserve original text because you can always just copy and paste it each time. And to me, that's simpler and it's more direct. But if you do that, you can see how it overwrites it. And you get your original text plus you get the font that you just changed it to. You get the line of text that way. But then you can just go back and click on your um, other text and do the same thing. Just check, take your text tool and select the text that you want to change. Should have mentioned that earlier, sorry. So there's our live preview and preserve original text. 
it won't nothing will happen until you hit apply so that is pretty much a summary of how this works I know it was fast but hopefully it helps